Okay. That was not my fault, though. Well, no, it was I mean, not I mean, well, <laughs> well, you sh- well no, no, we did. Uh, sorry. You flew too close to the sun. I did. There's I tried too, too many, cameras. many cameras. Too many cameras. Okay. I think it overloaded the system. <laughs> We're going to go with two, and it's going to be a little wonky because I'm going to have to move stuff while we're in the middle of things but hopefully we won't have any more freezes so sorry about that everybody it's um, good it keeps you on your toes right i appreciate I mean, it actually <laughs> damn it <laughs> hey no swearing this oh, is cozy whoops, sorry yep, cozy yep, yep. okay we're gonna get you right to the pretzel making wait um, we didn't even tell them what we were making oh we didn't tell you what we were making <laughs> Okay, we're doing the Tech Guys pretzels, which are Ooh. a thing of beauty. Look at those. Yeah. You made those by hand. I don't make them by hand because I can't do it. Well, it's um, Oktoberfest season, right? It is. Yes. So true. Um, let's make sure in the comments everybody. Everybody's video's going. Video's thumbs up. No thumbs up. Hearts. <laughs> like, click, mash that thumbs up button, like button, whatever. Uh, let know us know. Like <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Excited. Oh, I keep. Clicking the wrong thing. Um, excited to see what the tech guy does in the kitchen. I'm so impressed with his Etsy masterpieces. Yeah, yeah. it smells so good in here because I lit the pumpkin sp- or that spice life candle earlier. Oh so yeah, it smells like fall. It's been raining in Ashland, which we needed so much. Yeah, in fact, those uh, that spice life candle. There's only I don't know what did, what did I say left. seven yeah, yeah. seven left. Twenty percent off in Etsy shop right because now. Because new so. stuff is coming. Yeah, yeah. Um, he flew too close to the sun, Reba. He really did with all of his cameras. It just it I happens. did. Well, it's truth be told, one of the cameras was my iPhone, and it was plugged in directly to my computer. So I'm hoping that was that was the issue. Um, we'll find out. We'll find out. There and, could be a murder yeah. in the kitchen tonight. Yeah. You never so, know. Uh, thank you for everybody who joined again. It looks like everybody's back. Uh, 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 yeah. It's yeah. Good. This is why I don't work in television. That's right. <laughs> Chris used to make bread ever since you moved to Alberta. Rocks. Oh, I wonder yeah. if it's because it's like, um, are you at a different elevation? Sometimes that's the issue. I say from my, yeah. I pretend like I'm a pastry chef and I'm not really. I just play one in the pages of my <laughs> book. Okay, so tonight you are making your amazing Oktoberfest pretzels. Yeah, Oktoberfest pretzels. And mm-hmm. and one of the reasons I saw a comment in there, somebody said, nice icicle hat. Um, yeah. I hope you've been to Leavenworth. We've actually been to Oktoberfest in Leavenworth, what, four times now? Yes. What, four, four times. We've been to our, uh, Leavenworth. I don't know, maybe 10 times, but we went to Oktoberfest four times and, or around uh, Oktoberfest time anyway, we didn't Mm -hmm. actually go into Oktoberfest every time because, you know, once you've done it, you've done it. But um, although seeing a German band play ACDC was pretty (laughs) awesome. awesome. (laughs) Uh, um, But yeah, Icicle (laughs) Brewing, um, uh, this is what you modeled uh, Dirk Keller after, right? Exactly, yes. yeah, and Pam, the, the owner, uh, is an amazing woman in the beer industry in general, but just like so fun. If you haven't seen Ellie's videos on YouTube um, uh, about uh, Leavenworth, head over to her channel and check them out because she does an interview with Pam who's in <laughs> full drindle. Yeah, it, it's really cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, so Icicle is Dirk Keller, and then... Um, after we'd been to Leavenworth three or four times, yeah. you were doing a book talk and I was walking around and I found um, uh, these guys, um, Blew It Brewing. Um, <laughs> and Blew It actually, we were both just in awe we because away. we were blown away. We blew it. Blew we blew us it. Away. Yeah. We blew it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's named after a Paso by Leavenworth. But um, <laughs> uh, this is nitro. These this guys is 100% like. 100% nitro. 100% nitro. Um, and it did not exist before I started writing no, the series. No, no. It was so new crazy. after the series started. Yeah. And it was just like, it was incredible. And the and the, the crew there at Blue It is so great. And they were uh, gracious enough to let us in and film all their behind the scenes stuff and everything. And, and they were super chill. Super like, chill, like, chill laid back. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everyone has your back in the comments. Okay. Um, Karen also asked, um, since you're here, who's running the show? Uh, well, well, you it. saw no one really because <laughs> that was the reason for the freezing. But you know, I mean, most people have uh, most bakers and and people in the kitchen have cooking utensils in their apron. I have spare camera batteries in mine, so um, 
yeah. and a, um, oh a yeah, horse. I have my own kitchen uh, stuff too. Roll with it. <laughs> yeah, let's see the sound effects again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Chris wants to know, is there any way craft beers can be made non-alcoholic? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, wow, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, and a brewer with a lot more experience than I would need to answer that. I mean, I know they do make non-alcoholic right. beers, so um, I'm just not sure. I know how to make beer with alcohol. Um, you know, the, the yeast actually eating the sugar and uh, creates the alcohol. And... That is, um, so I don't know. Yeah. That's a great question. I know, I'm going to do research on that because that yeah. needs something interesting to work into Sloan somehow. Yeah. Okay, but before your water goes crazy over there with that other camera, why don't you demonstrate, you made the dough this morning. Yes. So the house is smelling like pumpkin spice deliciousness and pretzels. Right. I'm going to. You're going to move that camera? Try to move it and okay. we'll see how okay, it goes. We'll see how that does. Um, oh, bratwurst, right? It's so good. Um, I love it so much. So, ooh, Julie, bratwurst is always a good idea, in my opinion. How's your camera? Can you hit the stove button there? Stove. Let's see. Here. Oh, hey, look at that. All right, look at that. Okay. Yay. Okay. It's not you frozen. You can see his sound effects screen, too. This is oh, yeah, the, the stream deck, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so come demonstrate. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll share the recipe with this. Um, Christina, the tort aprons are in our Etsy shop that the tech guy runs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll share the recipe for this later. Uh, this is not a real-time cooking show. Uh, <laughs> are there any, uh, any Superstore fans out there? Uh, what's uh, um, Jonah. Uh, no, no, but her, her boyfriend, yeah, uh, I can't remember his name. America is yeah. her real name, but... Her boyfriend did a was doing a real time barbecue show on YouTube. Oh, uh, like eight with, hours long. Yeah, yeah. So He's like, I like people to get the full experience. We're not we're not doing real time. So yeah. I made the dough. It rises for like an hour. It's, it's really easy. Um, I, it has beer in it. We'll talk about that in a minute because the dip that we are going to make live, yeah. which is much faster, um, has beer in it as well, of course. Um, but anyway. Once the dough is ready to go, divide it into balls, and then we just kind of want to roll it out. Um, I'm not an expert. Ah, I can see I already didn't take my ring off, so because oh. it's because it's etched, now I have uh, a ton of flour stuck in it. But we'll set that there. Um, anyway, you want to you want to make it uh, roll it into a rope. And this is really weird, guys. I got to say, <laughs> I'm normally watching everything that's happening on this screen. So I feel like I uh, maybe you're watching. Maybe you're like, everybody's like, this sucks. I don't know. Like, uh, yeah. um, but anyway, uh, any bakers out there, if you have tips for rolling this stuff out easier, uh, let me know. But um, I usually just uh, try to make it into a cutting board wide rope of dough um ish helen says this is so fun so you don't have to worry <laughs> so only one of us has experience in a real um kitchen in a restaurant that would not be me oh yeah that was actually your college. first job in yeah. college right yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i worked uh as a sous chef um in probably the fanciest restaurant in my college or our college town um it was uh it was pretty cool i learned a lot um and you've never cooked or baked until you've done it for like 250 uh people with very high expectations <laughs> in a 140 degree kitchen uh with people yelling at you and servers who or taking the brunt of the customer abuse, so you got to be nice to them. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, George! What? George, I applied to at a pretzel factory. They no had way. A pretzel to test my talent. I wasn't hired. Okay, George, <laughs> that would be me. The tech guy is way more meticulous than I am. I these pretzels would look like a mum, just a jumbled well, mess. Well, I mean, you know, they're pretzels, right? So they like. I know, but you know, mine wouldn't look like that. Well, right. I mean, yeah, honestly, nice this I, you took this out a little early, to be honest. Oh, like. <laughs> there we go. See? <laughs> um, okay, what do you do next? Well, so you make it into a rope. Uh, make this you. You're going to, this is kind of like tying a tie, really. Um, you, you flip the right over the left. Um, 
and then you flip the right over to the left again, right? Yep. You've got that. And then you just flip this up and you get your standard you uh, um, pretzel shape. Or I feel like if that was a rope, that could be a murder weapon. Could be. Yeah. You could, yeah. I mean, truth be told, if we had time, I was going to make a Yoda-shaped one or, or Grogu, um, you know, Mandalorian. But um, uh, anyway, so that's it. Uh, and then you're going to go boil it. Yeah, and then I'm going to show you what you do to, to get, finish it. Because um, the pretzels you see uh, in, in Leavenworth, it's actually it's crazy because they're maybe five times the size of this but this like really cool sheen that is on them that makes them all shiny and gets that like tough outer skin with the soft doughy middle um we're gonna go over there and do that so i'm gonna flip the camera back while i get that situated and then um so uh, that one yeah and then you I can stove. you can talk okay I'll yeah and then you'll do I stove when i I gotta... um, the other funny thing about Leavenworth at the holiday time is all of the trees are decorated with Christmas pretzels. So like yes. instead of ornaments, it's all pretzels on the trees. I love that so much. <laughs> um, Suyin wants to do it uh, more often. We were just saying, if all goes well, we could do some live tort test kitchens. I think it would be super fun. We'll see how the tech guy feels by the end of the night. <laughs> well, if I'm not the one in front of the camera the whole time, I can do all of this without sure. making everybody wait. Yeah, no, oh. it's all good. Um, the other issue in the kitchen tonight is I do have broken toes. And so my broken toe is on the side that he's next to. So while we were setting it up, I was like screaming at you. I got yelled at a lot. Many times, like, not the toe. Oh, no, don't be near the toe. Don't be near the toe. So, um... I have him on high alert to not step on my broken toes. Not that you normally step on toes, but you know. Anna Louise always cheer. Cheese okay, hit dish. stove Okay, again. stove. I'm not going to end the broadcast. I'm just going to say, oh, okay. hey, look at that. Let's... Your water's bubbling. Okay. Okay. Let's turn this up a little bit. Okay. So now what do you do when I'm Camera's moving up. your pretzels away? Okay. What do you do with the pretzel now? Okay. So the next step um, is we're going to take some uh, baking soda and we get a pot of boil a uh, pot of boil pot of water boiling uh, and then you you add some baking soda so go back to your uh, elementary school um, volcano making days um, once that's in there we're just gonna kind of lower the pretzel in and let it uh, boil in here for about 30 seconds yep. um, mm -hmm. make sure that Water gets all over the top there. You can see all this okay, right? Yeah, yeah. There's another thing I can't see the screen. Um, uh, Cherry wants to know if it's just water, but no, you just add it's the just water soda. with the baking soda. Yeah, but you that, add the baking soda right before you right put before you put it in. Right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. It's not, and you can. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it makes a mess of your clean stove. Oh, Joseph said that um, Julius Sturgis Bakery in. That's it. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Pennsylvania has an interactive pretzel making tour. How fun would that oh, be? Oh, that'd be that cool. That sounds awesome. So I haven't done that. So I'm, I am definitely a pretzel rookie, but I, I do love making these around this time of year. Yeah. So um, we've probably been at 30 seconds or yeah. so. Okay. So I'm going to take this out. Um, I'm going to slide this to the back here. Slide it away. And With that hot stove. Turn that off. Yeah, don't burn yourself. Right. All right, then we're gonna put it on a baking sheet. Slide get it, it off on the, there. Yeah, get it off the spoon here. Um, Naomi, I'm glad you just joined us. I, the final result is gonna be delicious. Right. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, it's just, so delicious. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, then we're gonna brush it with some, uh, with a beaten egg. And this, egg wash. It, yeah, an egg wash. Thank you for the. Um, appropriate term uh and this is important because otherwise it'll burn but uh this also gives it that uh, helps give it that nice sheen and everything but you can kind of see how it puffed up a little bit and it keeps it uh nice and fresh and okay. she says her husband makes hers too and cashew brittle that sounds like something you Ooh, would also love cashew, cashew brittle, brittle sounds yum. delicious okay then we're gonna put some uh salt on it um coarse coarse sea salt, right? salt coarse uh -huh. um you know, and this is to taste uh, or to blood pressure level, uh, depending on, you know, <laughs> what, what you got going on. Whenever I order a pretzel, I always scrape off like half the salt. I'm not always a fan of a lot of salt, but. 
And then you put your Star Wars oven mitt on. Oh my gosh. Where's that sound? <laughs> and, and did you get it? Sci-fi? Oh, oh, nice. Oh, I did it. And then we're going to pop it in the oven uh, over here. You can go back to the default. Okay, now. back to default. In the oven. He's putting it at, in. At 425 for about 10 minutes. Love it. So we've got 553. So we'll just we'll, just, we'll do our thing. Well, I mean, funny story. I mean, we we used to live at pretty much sea level. Yeah. Um, and now we live at about 2,500 feet. So baking times are all over the place compared to what they used to be, which is made for some interesting dinners. <laughs> yeah, totally. Aaron, I feel you. No salt. Little bit of salt. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I know, yeah, right? Because like at ballparks and from yeah. street vendors and stuff, some of these things are like it, you're just like, oh, it's enough salt for a month. So for the dip that you're gonna make, you have an assortment of beers that you brought out. But I'm yes. assuming we're not putting all of this beer in the blunt dip. No, I was just gonna talk a little bit okay. about this time okay. of year. I so yeah, so I mean, obviously the 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 big one is uh, is <laughs> is pumpkin beer. This know. is actually pumpkin spice beer. How do we um, feel about that? Is that a thumbs up? It's an thumbs imperial down? stout with coffee and pumpkin oh, spice. Wow, that's a lot. Um, I don't know if I'm even going to open this. I might save this for my father-in-law. Yeah. Um, Hi, Arnie, if you're watching. <laughs> um, oh, Lynn has a great idea. The cooking show could be called Cooking in the Cantina. Cooking in the Cantina. Yes, I, love I love let's it. I love it. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, and then and then a bunch of Oktoberfest beers. Um, quick side note about Leavenworth and Oktoberfest, which is super fun. Um, but if you're a fan of beer with hops uh at all, at all. Um, IPA, and you know. don't like german beer like kolsch's pilsners um you know things like that uh just know that once you go inside the gates at uh at oktoberfest like it's german beer like 100 percent uh so there's Much if right you there. thumbs down, thumbs down. Too <laughs> like, much. yeah too much um uh, so you need to you need to stop right outside the gates in at Leavenworth Icicle. at Icicle, yeah. and you and can have great beer. Um, but but it is fun inside the gates too. There's okay, tons so of great I'm, music. In I'm going to veto pumpkin spice as okay. our base. I say okay. no to that one. Right? Is everybody with me on that? Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so. I had I had to do this one. This is for you because um, this is uh, Berlick Brewing in um, in Portland, uh, and they make October Fest oh, beer. Uh, ah, get it? It's a pun. pun. It's a pun. Um, I had okay. to do it. I had to so do this it. would be more like a light German style. Though. That's that yeah. That's that's a that's a Marzen Lager. Uh, so oh. it's lighter. Arnie Dyer's on. He says, I wouldn't drink pumpkin spice. Oh, you're trying <laughs> oh, to pawn it off. Busted. <laughs> busted. I knew it. <laughs> Dang. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, this is one I get every year, and it's, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I think it's super cool. Heater Allen Brewing, um, they make Bobtoberfest. Uh, and Bob is uh, the owner of Heater Allen Brewing. Bob was his brother who passed away. So he made a beer. He brewed a beer. Who Bob, uh, Bob was actually a great brewer himself, but um, but the owner of Heater Allen made a beer and named it after his brother who Aww, passed away. Which is, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, I thought that was really cool. Okay, that's a contender. That's but a contender. It's a lager. Okay. That's that. That's a lager. That's an okay. Oktoberfest. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, but the the one thing that that I love most about this time of year is it's hop season. So this is the time when all the hops get harvested, and and living in the Pacific Northwest here. This is like ground zero for, for hop growing and everything. And so fresh hop, it's fresh hop season. Let's see if we can get that. Um, Love that. So a lot of breweries like Breakside, which is another great Portland brewery, um, they uh, all release uh, fresh hop beers, which it, um, for those of you who didn't know, most beer is brewed with dried hops or hop pellets, which are processed and just crushed down into what look like rabbit food. Um, uh, and uh, with fresh hop beer, the hops are still, they're like right off the vine. They're, they're still wet. They're, you know, they're, um, they're green. They're, they're not dry. And, um, and it does, it, it gives a very much stronger hop flavor um, and aroma. Um, which I love, but I'm also allergic to. Yeah. Yeah. Then you'll get all stuffed up. Yeah. I vote fresh hops. Okay. But you got to crack it up and because oh, Anna yeah. Louise 
sent us these adorable more booze please beer cozies oh, so those are we have cool. to put that thank you so much for that anna louise that was so sweet um and so i will put this maybe i don't know if i should do that you should probably do that sure in there um because that's adorable down. I know, but I'm scared Push I'm going to spill it. Oh, you'll be okay, fine. Okay. I mean, of course you'll spill I know, it. I know, but... I will spill it. So cheers to that. <laughs> okay, so next up, you are going to make a beer cheese dip for our pretzels. Yeah. Correct, Amundo. We're just going to move stuff one. over while you're doing that so I can get the camera aligned okay, perfect. correctly. Um, I want to know if you all have any specific questions for the tech guy. I have, of course, a lot of questions. My first one is, um, this is a hard-hitting one. Uh-oh. Garrett or Mac? Oh, Garrett. Okay, good. Whew. God, that I was, was like, I'm sorry, I was concentrating. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, 100%. For a minute, yeah. Garrett or Matt? Come no, on. No, no, <laughs> I didn't have to think. <laughs> yeah, it was Garrett. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, how would you describe our cooking styles? Um, mine is exact and yours is like by the seat of your pants. Yes, so true. Yeah. Um, do, you, do you usually follow a recipe? Um, yes and no. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do. I, I, you want me to do that? Yeah. You having trouble unlocking that? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you Thank go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I follow a recipe when I make something for the first time and then I slowly like kind of make my own thing. But you know what I do do when I change things up? What do you do? I write it down. I don't write anything I down. I write it down. That's true. I... <laughs> uh, Anybody who's on the, the Apple platform, iOS, uh, Paprika is like oh, yeah. the most amazing recipe app ever. Every recipe in Paprika on, on our, in our cloud is from me. Yeah. Because yeah. she doesn't write any of them down. No, no. So it's true. everything, I, you know, it makes things unique every time. It does. Guess, so, it does. It yeah. keeps you on your toes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anna Louise wants to know what's your favorite thing to make? Um, oh, Wow. Uh, it's kind of a tie between um, chicken pot pie and ground beef Wellington. Yeah, that was going to be one of my questions because I tend to do more sweet baking. You don't really yes. bake anything sweet. No, I'm trying to think if I you... don't. I don't need anything. Sweet. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to think if you ever bake anything sweet. Not really. No. 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 Every once in a while. No, it's uh, all Sky savory. High. Yeah, yeah. He do, he does. Likes to bake sweet he stuff does. Sometimes. But I I'm yeah. In fact, I struggle during the summer and like hot weather and stuff because most of what I make is for fall and winter right. um, hearty stuff with like potatoes and a lot of vegetables and everything so Angie wants to know how did you get into working with all the tech that's um, a great question so I, will I mean that answer, goes all the way back to elementary school well right? but for this oh uh, for this I will say I yeah. think oftentimes there's this um idea that authors have you know like these giant marketing budgets from publishing <laughs> houses and you know like a limousine is going to pull up in front of your house when you yeah. get a book contract yeah. and uh, take you all over the world on wouldn't the that be awesome yeah no it doesn't work yeah. like that um you know we put i think twenty thousand miles on our subaru the first couple years that my books had come out just going it was from twenty four thousand was it twenty four thousand yeah. yeah going from bookstop to bookstop so um you actually were the one who told me like I think you should do like a YouTube channel and I resisted for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to, maybe this will get us in trouble, but I know more about social media than your entire publisher. Like yeah. all of them put together. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, and I, I love technology. So, but as you see, I'm, I, I'm not a pro <laughs> no, we're not since we're on since the first uh, live lasted, what, six and a half minutes. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, and what's your um, to make book uh, list? Anything specific you've been wanting to make for a while but haven't? That's a good question. Um, probably chicken pot pie. Yeah, I would say yeah. like, yeah, you're definitely, yeah. it's just finally fall here though. We finally have rain it's cold again so that's some of it it's like yeah seasonal cooking yeah i mean i honestly um jamie oliver i think yeah. is like he is my number one like i like if i if i could meet jamie oliver and jamie are you listening <laughs> I'm like, number one fan uh, i have every cookbook um, <laughs> um I, he just i just love this style of cooking and and i don't know if some of anybody who's into cooking may remember the naked chef 
um, back when he was really young, it was uh, um, not quite. Not quite. Sherry, it was, thanks for asking. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> I totally forgot that was in there. <laughs> Sherry just asked. I didn't get to the comments soon enough. It is really hard. I have new appreciation. You have new sound appreciation for being on my side of the camera, and I have new because the comments come through so fast. They're yeah. really hard to see, and then I keep clicking it wrong. <laughs> oh man yeah thank you cherry that was that would have been bad well you guys would have been like uh the oven's on fire behind you chris wants to know what are we doing now or what am i doing now that road tubers aren't done as much this that's why it's so helpful because you're all, yeah. you're self-taught on a lot of this i mean you worked yeah. in advertising and you have freelance right. clients but yeah and and i mean there are just there are some amazing people online that do live streaming every week and and i've been lucky enough to find them and and learn from them and i've taken you know online courses and everything that have helped me kind of do that with like the lighting and all the cameras and i guess i have to learn how to do three cameras but um <laughs> but i'm dying two are working great yeah. so that's like yeah. that's a hundred percent improvement that's right there win. tonight yeah that's a solid win yeah yeah. Okay. So, what do we do to start your delicious cheese sauce? Do you need to bring the other camera over? Yeah. I'm gonna. Okay. Yeah. So. Do I'm gonna. Do some more. Yeah. Um. Happy belated birthday, Susan. Too. I just saw that. And thank you for sending us rain. Um. Let's see. Um. Doesn't Jamie Oliver do 15 minute meals? Yeah. I think he does a 30 and a 15 minute meal. So they're so great. We have all of his cookbooks for sure. He's definitely been. We started cooking out of his cookbook like. Or watching The Naked Chef not long after college. Well, so, yeah, his, yeah he's, uh, it, this, he's been around for a while. This is kind of the one that started it all. Um, uh, Jamie's, Jamie's Food, Food Revolution. Revolution. Yeah. And I mean, this this book, it is, well it is barely holding on to the, <laughs> the cover here. So it's got... The, all the pages are stained and everything. But this, if you, if you can find this book... You will love it. Um, I, I can't say enough about it. Um, mostly fall and winter recipes yeah. in here, but um, just delicious and really nutritious stuff yeah. too. A lot yeah. of vegetables. Tons of um, veggies, yeah. healthy. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Lorraine. <laughs> we have fun in the kitchen usually. Unless oh, you're yeah. close to uh, my toe. I've been staying away. Oh my God. Been staying away. away from the toe. Yeah. Okay, so. Cheese dip. Okay, I'm going to well, walk you through the uh, recipe. Go, hit the, okay, hit I got to go back stove. to the stove. Let's Here see go. if it works. Okay, oh, we're going to okay. we're going to slide this over a little bit more. Um, slide away and I'll stay we'll, out of the way. You know what? I'm yeah. going to leave the camera there and we're going to move the the heat. Okay, just don't burn yourself. And I'm going to thanks to Cherry keep checking on our pretzel. Where is Still my... needs like be just a minute it's looking beautiful though i need my so uh, beautiful. star what Wars else is everybody else looking forward to cooking for fall uh, oh taylin says this is one of the best lives that's good <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome uh, yeah i mean it's re it's real this is this is <laughs> reality <laughs> tv right here right um yeah if okay. you ever thought you know anything that i did was staged or inauthentic now you know this is the reality yeah. warts and all right <laughs> uh cherry what's bubbling oh the beer that's the um fresh off oh yeah this now. so yeah. the 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 cheese um dip that we're gonna make here has uh beer in it so first uh what how okay. much is this three, uh, tablespoons, three tablespoons right three tablespoons of butter ah three tablespoons well, i'm trying to figure out where the camera is three tablespoons of butter okay so we're gonna, ooh, that's uh, hot, yeah. So um, we got that going. Three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So when I bake, I just dump flour in. And then when it comes to actually putting recipes together for the Bake Shop series, I have to bake them like two or three times because then I have to do it for the measurement. So I put this in now? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't um, remember this one. Flour for 30 seconds. Oh, whiskey. And then slowly add in beer. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm so glad you're having fun tonight. Ray is going to make, oh, Brunswick stew. I need more information about that and shepherd's pie. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Lily, and I'm so glad you're here. Um, Angie's making pumpkin bread and cookies. Yum! What's next? Okay, what's next? Um, add, we did the beer? Yep. Okay. Um, Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf mustard or ground mustard. I'm okay. going to take this out now. All right. I'm going to put the mustard in. Um, guys, I was so excited uh, because this time of year is just fall and... We're making pretzels with beer, um, so I made. I found um, 
Sierra Nevada makes mustard with all their ales. They make like four or five different kinds. Woo, it's good stuff. Nice. Okay. Okay, then you need Worcestershire sauce or... Worcestershire? Worcestershire. How do you say it? <laughs> um, okay. Okay. How much was that? Uh, that was a half a teaspoon. Okay. A half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Yeah, we got that. Um, Havarti cheese. What, when do we do the milk? Slowly mix in the milk. Right now? Yep. All right, there we go. And then the cheese is last. Yeah. I Christine, figured. your boyfriend, you just bought a new house. Looking forward to making lots of recipes from all the books. Yes, I love it. It's just the best time of year. Congratulations on your new house. That's so exciting. I love it. <laughs> So great. Okay, so now it's getting thicker with the, and you're using an oat milk. I'm using an oat milk because uh, Sky Guy has a little bit of a uh, lactose um, uh, issue. So we try to. And you could make this with like a vegan cheese too. Yeah, you totally could. Um, you know, but you can get milk from anything these days, like even cats. Uh, any any Meet the Fockers fans out there? <laughs> I was like, wait, what? where are you going with that? <laughs> Oh no. Um. <laughs> so yeah, it's starting to thin out and here. And says, our kids love our potato cheddar chowder with bacon when they were Ooh, little. Ooh, that that's sounds like good. Yeah. Fall. Yeah. And chili, yum. All the fall things, all the fall things. I'm so excited for the cure for what ails you to come out next week. I just got my author copies today. Oh yeah, big so, box. Big box of books is on the front porch. Well, it's actually inside the house now. Technically I did bring it inside, but, um, I can't wait to share copies with you. And this is like the perfect time of year for now, all of that. Okay. If I remember, we remove it from the heat. Remove right? it from the heat gradually. Oh, be careful. That's so hot. Well, that's um, why I have my Star Wars okay, other mitt. Okay. Um, gradually add the cheese a little bit of the time, whisking until completely melted. Yeah. And then you're going to go. <laughs> put this so on funny. the floor. <laughs> Okay. My daughter's been making homemade cheddar variations. Oh, you tried. Oh, she's making Lenny. She's making actual cheese. That's awesome. You've been wanting to try that. Oh, yeah. I, um, yeah. I mean, it, yeah. It, it, if there are any home brewers out there, welcome. Um, <laughs> but uh, if not, uh, most homebrew shops uh, for beer actually carry everything to make homemade cheese and tea and coffee roasting equipment and everything. So it's it. kind of like a whole DIY. So you're just slowly just, melting the cheese Just slowly in. melting the cheese in, yeah. So who's cleaner in the kitchen? Well, I mean, let's see if they can guess. <laughs> <laughs> let's guess, everybody. Let's guess. Um, who's the better cook? Oh, definitely you. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. You. Yeah. I, I always start out with the best intentions, but it doesn't always go the way But you were better at following a recipe to the letter. Yeah. So. But even with that, sometimes, um, well, so I love to cook Thanksgiving dinner. Yes. But I get it over my head every year because, I mean, you know, anybody who makes Thanksgiving dinner knows you've got like 18 things going at once and you're talking to family and maybe having a beer or two or, you know, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and that wants to know, is the tech guy always so mellow? <laughs> no. Mm, no. I <laughs> actually, I, I, I would say. Yeah, I, I had my freak out when the live froze and then I was just like, yeah, well, we're doing what we can, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I just, I tried your comment and that I don't know what I did, but stew and chili, yes, 100%. Um, okay, how about, this is a good one. Um, what is it like to live with a mystery writer? Um, is it scary? No, it's not scary. <laughs> it is funny though. For your, um, well, no, I mean, I, I'm in awe every day, just, uh, you know, how much you write. Um, but it is, it is a little weird when you come to me and you're like, what would be a better way to kill somebody <laughs> this or this? Yeah. And, um, and actually the, <laughs> Uh, when you were writing that Pacific Northwest series, the when you called the sheriff's office out in Hood River County and just asked them, like, so if somebody got pushed off a cliff, what would happen? And I was like, <laughs> you're you're definitely on a list now. I, I mean, sure. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't stop by just to uh -huh. see what was going on. But, yeah, yeah, that's true. 
But you're never scared, like, to eat anything that I'm making? No. Oh, okay. We can probably go back to the default okay, scene. Okay, we'll go back to the default. I, everybody, unless everybody wants to keep watching me uh, stir here. They might want to keep watching you well, stir. Well, we'll show dipping at the end. How's okay, that? that's good. Um, Once this is do all you have a in. favorite character out of all of my series? I mean, we're kind of here for Sloan this week, but... Um, well, I have two, actually. Well, three, really. Um, I, I would say Matt. Yes, from the Meg series. From the Meg series. Who you've modeled uh, who, after. Who, so who, right, course, Thomas, Thomas and Garrett. Because <laughs> I, 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 it's weird reading some of your books and being like, hmm, that, seems that familiar. sounds really familiar. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. so like for Bake Shop, you would be team... Thomas and not Team Carlos. No, I love Carlos. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? I love Carlos. I would I would hang out with Carlos in the kitchen. I would work for Carlos. Oh, okay. That would be yeah, yeah. that would be, I mean, yeah, that would be so much fun. I would learn a lot and have a great time doing it. So um, Lenny, everybody's worried about the pretzel. I Colleen, I took it out of the oven. I promise. It's safe. It's safe. <laughs> thanks to Cherry. I, I mean she yeah, 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 yeah. We got it. We yeah. got it. It's out. It's yeah. cooling. Where did I put it? Oh, it's right over here. I'll show you. I, I think do that. I'm going to. Well, we both left the camera at the same time. Uh -oh. I'm just turning this one off to. There we go. I'm going to show you and be careful with my toe. Look at that beauty. <gasps> How hot is it now? Yeah. Is it not? No, it's not bad. Okay. Oh, beauty. <sighs> Look at Look that. Look at the bottom of it, too. It's so crispy and perfect. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Ooh, and it's going to be warm. It is oh, pretty warm. <laughs> yeah. So great. Um, okay, I missed a comment there. Uh, the pretzel's going to burn. I love it. Ever, you all are the best. <laughs> Everyone's worried. We got it out. There are no more. We'll, we'll show. There are no more pretzels in the oven right it's now. Safe. So it's safe. It's totally safe. We can probably turn this off now. Actually. Oh, yeah, we can turn it off. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, wait, no, because I'm going to make more after. <laughs> oh, you're going to finish the rest of them. <laughs> Love the owl towel. Isn't that great? We just decorated for um, Halloween, for sure. Lillian says, I tried to make a very small turkey. Um, doesn't always want to click on the comment for me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Here. It's just maybe too fast. Sorry. Um... You'll touch it and it'll be fine. Okay. Um, before my hubby and I married, it was a disaster. I've never made another. Every year I make all the sides and my mother-in-law makes a turkey. You make a mean turkey. I do it's like true. making it. Like it goes back to that whole savory thing. Like yeah. I, I, but you know whose recipe that I started with on that Jamie. was Jamie. Yeah. yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, does your hub know not to use your decorative dish towels? Esther wants to know. Oh, totally. Oh, Esther, yeah. I use the decorative dish towels. Yeah, and then I, I know. And then, yeah, because then, like, <laughs> look how nice these are. But yeah. then if once they get used, they have to go in the dishwasher or the dishwasher that wash and they're all wrinkled. Never. Yeah, it's terrible. I know. Sorry. Stain. Star, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. What yeah. can I say? And you can never use the Star Wars kitchen. No, that's stuff. I'm, I'm not yeah. allowed. Um, I'm definitely messier for sure in the kitchen, 100%. Yeah. Um, you also worked at Costco for a little while in the in bakery. College, in yeah. college. Yep. In the bakery department. In the bakery, yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. And this makes me think of Thanksgiving because what was your experience with pumpkin pies? Uh, I made 450 pumpkin pies a day. A day. A day. At Costco. Yeah. 450. So did you ever want to see a pumpkin pie again? No. No, not so much. No. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> so to this day. I didn't eat pumpkin pie for like five years <laughs> after that because it was, yeah, it was a lot of pumpkin pies. <laughs> yeah. So I still, to this day, also make the pies. Yeah, I do the turkey. Yeah. I do the pies yeah. because that's how it has to be. I would probably burn the pies, I'm sure. But... You never know. No, it's all good. Um, and then my last sort of bookish question for you is what do you think of all like the bookish travel that we do? Uh, I mean, oh, not it, so much the last year or so. With COVID, right. But no, but I, no, I miss it um, because it was um, we got to uh, Luke and I got to go and um, explore so many towns. Yeah. Right. I mean, you you did talks everywhere and we would always drive and we'd take you in, get you set up and, 
you'd start your talk that we'd heard many times yeah. before, but we'd make sure you were all set to go. And then we would go out on, you know, and explore the town and find all the cool shops and restaurants and, and, uh, everything. Yeah. So I, I liked it. Um, I do miss it. Um, you know, hopefully it comes back in some form. And you have grand ideas for what it could look like eventually if it does come back. Oh yeah, yeah. it'll be. I mean, we'll bring the technology too. Yeah. Like yeah. it'll be, it'll be super ideas. fun. He's got ideas. Yeah. Watch out. I've got a lot He's of playing. ideas for the in-person stuff. <laughs> oh, I love it. Joseph said I actually had to stand on a ladder. Um, Joseph, wait, did you work at Costco? Oh yeah, been there, done that. I see it. I'm yeah. Like, oh, stand on yes. the ladder to fill. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, well, I because I <laughs> you, I mean, it's on a, um, you know, a rat. You, like you're putting like the, the the baking sheet that we put that uh, pretzel on is like ridiculous. It looks like it's for Lilliputians or something. It's like <laughs> they were massive, and you just put them all on there, and you just slide them on the rack, and then you'd go. And it was the scariest thing ever because they have walk-in ovens. Yeah. And I was oh, like, it's like a horror movie point. waiting to happen. Like you walk in there and somebody shuts the door behind you. And yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned for that in a future bake shop for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, and she wants to know, do, does he help take photos for the research? Oh, not really. Uh, of recipes and stuff? Yeah. No, no, not, I don't. Um, you shoot, like when we've done all the videos around town, you shoot and edit all the videos right. that we've shared on my YouTube and all of my social. Yeah. I'm, I'm the, I'm the video guy. She, she takes most of the pictures. So, yeah. Yeah. Walk in ovens, a murder weapon, right, Helen? <laughs> yeah, over there. Totally. They're, They're terrifying. Totally there. <laughs> yeah. Terrifying. Um, all right, before we wrap up, we gotta taste your pretzel. Okay. Okay? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Well, Is it like super hot to bite into? We could we can do Maybe once. Do it, yeah. Here, I'll give you a little piece. I can't do it with my okay. And it's then a, it's the, just like a I put the, beauty. Let's see if they can see the cheese dip. Oh, the no. cheese dip? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Let's dip it in there. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. it's good this is a fresh hot beer see mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah yeah so we'll share we'll share the recipes i'll get those put up on this post not the first post the first post i'll delete <laughs> <laughs> but i'll edit this post and and get the recipe for the pretzels and the cheese dip on there tonight and how's it felt being in the hot seat uh, good. I just, I'm, I'm sad that the three camera setup didn't work, but you know, we'll work on that. Maybe we need another DSLR. Oh no, no, we don't. Don't let him say no to that. <laughs> say no. <laughs> we had two and those worked, but, but the, the iPhone didn't. Cindy, I'm so glad you had fun. It was a super blast. Um, and I love that you got to experience the other side of the camera. It's good for both of us. And I've never yeah. had to keep up with that so yeah no thank you everybody for watching it's been great to be on this side of the camera and like i hopefully it was enjoyable for all of you i know we missed probably a ton of comments i'm usually the one watching all of those and alerting her to when you know when people say things and ask questions but um what can you do yeah what there's only so many of us maybe next time we can get sky guy to run this part oh there you go yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay um so let's see i pushed that Oh, yeah, yeah, it takes a second. Oh, it takes a second. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, and then I'm supposed to scoot this yep, way. There okay. You go. Okay. So, next week, next week, save the date. There might be more pretzels. There will definitely be giveaways. Sharing some books. The Cure for What Ails You, book five in the Sloan Krause Mysteries, comes out next Tuesday. I can't believe it. <laughs> I personally am excited. It's actually not set in fall, it's set during spring may fest which is a first for this series um all of the rest have been sort of set in fall and winter but it's coming out at fall and it's still leavenworth and bavaria and i'm super excited to share this one if you've been following along with this series <laughs> are you looking up oh, yeah. um, if you've been following along with this series all all of sloan's questions i believe are going to get answered in this one so um come we're going to have a fun launch party here live Maybe not in the kitchen, um, but on Facebook Live next Tuesday, 5.30. You don't want to miss it. Bring a friend. We'll probably go back to one camera, too. Oh, we go back to one camera? Okay, probably. good. Oh, we yeah. might have an Emmy cam. I don't know. Oh, Emmy. Emmy might get her own cam. I love that. Um, and then up next, after The Cure for What Ills You comes out, is Bake, Borrow, and Steal, 
book 14, book 14 of the Big Shot Mysteries. I can't even believe it. This one is set um, at Southern Oregon University's Art Museum, and it's going to be um, a chocolate and Shakespeare extravaganza, and I'll have lots more to share, and maybe even some early copies to give away soon. I think I just heard that it's up on NetGalley, so that's super exciting. And then last but not least, What's coming up next is The Cure for What Ails You next week. Um, then we're going to do fall cozy reads. I'm going to share my uh, fall reading list, what's on my TBR and what I'm currently reading, as well as some of my favorite cozy, warm, delicious fall drink recipes. Non-alcoholic. Um, and let's see. Oh, Rediscovered Books. That's an event that I'm doing with Leslie Budowitz and um, Emmeline Duncan and anyone's invited to come but the live will be there that Tuesday not here on my page and then last but not least we're gonna have a Halloween bash on October 26th so as always um, thanks for joining us on a Tuesday it's always great to hang out with everybody and a uh, big round of applause I don't know if I have applause but I've got your <laughs> big star uh, love that. to yeah. the check <laughs> happy reading happy baking <laughs>